can make a man dream Can make him lie awake at night And figure and scheme He dreams of fame He dreams of gold And now and then he hankers For a woman to hold When he's a boy Life follows a plan But here in these thousand hills The boy becomes a man The moon when it's pale Lighting the trail Tugs at his heartstrings He learns to live And learns to love these thousand hills The moon when it's pale Light in the clay Tugs at his heartstrings He learns to live And learns to love these thousand hills. Here comes the bus. It's about time. Any coffee left? Sure, boss. Plenty. Help yourself. Coffee. Finished grinding the cattle and got the horses all shot, Ram. Good. This is Lad Evans from Pendleton. He's coming along. Never seen a trail boss yet could remember a name. Mine's Carmichael. I remember the name, all right. It's the face that throws me. The cook here goes by the name of Sally. How'd you do? Just don't get no dust in them, I'm making. No bellyache about the grub. And don't call me Sally. My handle, Jacob Schmidt. All right. I'm Godwin. Howdy. Tom Pink. I do. You a writer? Well, I ain't walking. We got 40 Bronx to bust. Mr. Butler? Which pays better, Bronx busting or Rang? Bronx busting? I didn't come all this way for a job that pays less. Well, then you better unsaddle that mule and pick one of the string. You'll need a horse. Sure. Hold up, boys! Oh, I'll get the saddle. You can shake out your rope. Thanks. Some of them are pretty rough. Sure you want to try one? Sure. Can't do no more than pile me. Give us a hand, huh, man? That big black with the strip, sugar. He'll take a heap of breaking it. All that sorrow. What shall it be? I reckon I'll catch up the big black. You gentle that snorter and he's yours.
Right. He's sure gentled him down. You broke yourself a good horse there. And ruined a good mulligan stoop. Well, a brown job's yours, lad. Mr. Butler? What'd the pay be for both jobs? Both? Yeah, I could do both. Fighting Bronx and Wrangling. You won't be getting much sleep between here and Fort Bronx. You can't afford much sleep yet. Don't you think I can do it? Sure, why not? Sleep when you roll, that's what my pappy said. Big ranches got started. Honest? How did they? By stealing horses. Yeah, a fella down Gold Creek won't show me how. All you need is a jackknife for a hot iron, and you just change your brand. There must be a way to get rich without stealing. That's what the fella in the poorhouse said. Come on, lad. It's your watch. What time is it? Midnight? Well, it won't be long now. My cow's yellow Ford Brock. <laughs> What's yours, old lad? And I'll say light, dark, or red. You ever hunt wolves? Why? I was listening to Chico talk. He made a thousand dollars in one winter just out of wolf hides. This is a hard way to make a living. Is there an easy way? No, I ain't afraid of hard work. I just don't want to die poor. You live poor, is that it? 
My old man owned a ranch along the Willamette. Went broke. Hard times, that's all I remember. I want to end up like he did. Failure. Hiding behind the Bible, pretending money isn't important. Hit the old man? No, I... Pa just couldn't look a fact in the face, that's all. Me, I'm different. I'm gonna get me a ranch. And I'm gonna make it work. No matter what. How about it, Tom? Just one went to hunting wolves and we'll have more and quicker money than six months on a trail. You kill a buffalo. Then you poison the meat with strychnine. Then you wait till a wolf that feeds on it dies of the cramps. <laughs> it's quick money, kid, but it's dirtier. Well, what's dirty about it? Your know, meat. I ain't going to spend a winter freezing my tail. You best find yourself another partner. Will you two coyotes shut up? We're changing watch. Every time they spit, they ought to make a party of it. Yeah. Let you and me go calling, huh? Ah, Remy. Is that all you think about? My mind naturally goes that way. It ain't gone far. <laughs> <laughs> first come first. I cut over the out of them whiskers. My old pappy always said, never grow on your face what grows on your tail. <laughs> <laughs> your pappy would. Ah! <laughs> Howdy, Jen. <laughs> Tobin show up? No, Yehu. Well, that's the day for you. I can remember back when a man's word meant something. He didn't say one thing and do another. I'm sorry, Vince. I didn't mean to bust up your party. You have a drink. We were just talking women. Women? Well, that's a limited subject. Anybody here talk horses? A little wine. Well, a fellow named Turpin had himself a speedy filly, or so he said. I came in for my ranch to race him, but he's scared out, it seems. I got an Indian plug, I'll bet against all comers. Gold or greenbacks, even money. Name your figure and the date. Oh, well. Lava don't get the chores done. So long, you gents. Hey, wait a minute. What kind of a horse you got, Fatty? It's an Appaloosie. Fast? Well, nobody ain't beat him yet. Well, gents. We got a little old horse, can run pretty good. Where's your animal? Outside. Oh, that big bronc I saw coming in? That's right. Who's riding him? Our boy here. How about it, lad? Game? <sighs> Come on, lad, you can't waste it on. If I ride, will you go whooping with me come winter? Yeah, sure, kid, anything. You swear? On a stack of Bibles. All right. Oh, <laughs> uh, Jans, it's your money. What are the bets, boys? 600 yards around one turn. I got $100. Shame here. Me too. The rest of you is reckless? Reckless, sir. Double or stone broke. Now, what about you, Ryder? <laughs> you betting or did your money get scared? Fifty? Fifty is right. Kick on the right to the ground. Right. Don't cry in your whiskey, boys. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. We haven't agreed on a starter. He'll be a fast dog. All right. That engine jockey won't weigh 80 pounds with his TP throat in. Yeah. Well, I think I better shuck the saddle. Boy, I sure wish this course was longer. There's a lot of money riding on you, boy. Just keep thinking of that. Now, don't go wide at the turnaround. <laughs> All right. All right, let's get started. Out of the way, folks. Move back to the course, folks. I ever saw a rock. Get your hands off me. The Bronx won. Who says so? I do, Yahoo. Oh, Mr. Conrad. Trick and all. This boy took it. What's the best in the house? Champagne. Well, like the fella said, no fools, no fun. We'll have a bottle. Happy? Bring a bottle of champagne for these gentlemen and hustle it up. There's a nice table for you right over there. Make yourselves at home, and if you need help, call it. I'll bring it to the table, gents. Hey, Ram, how you doing? Hey, Tom. Howdy, boys. <laughs> Tom, you ain't going back on our deal, are you? What deal? Well, Wolfen, you're not going back on your word. When I said yes once, didn't I? Anybody knows me once is enough. Come on, let's have some fun. This is Kelly, Lat, Tom. Hey, how do you do? I saw you right today. What? Did you? I was afraid you'd been hurt. Nah, shoot, we kicked him in the head. That's the only safe place to kick a wrangler. Same brand, Yeah, that's what we want. Well, here's the 
Is it Albert Gallatin Evans? Hadn't been for him, we wouldn't have had the pleasure of knowing you, because we'd have been broke. <laughs> Champagne. Yeah. <laughs> I ordered the case once in New Orleans. Oh, there's a the town. Oh, they got nothing in New Orleans they don't have right here. And it's a lot closer. <laughs> Hey, your outfit's pulling out tomorrow. Well, the rest of them are, not us. What do you boys aim to do? Well, first we're going to finish this champagne. And then, uh... <laughs> oh, I awful. could use a rider like you. <laughs> no, thanks. Eighty a month and grow. Oh, a month's too slow. It's almost a thousand a year. Years too long. That win money won't last. I've seen punches. They come in flush and go out broke. It's a natural law. Well, I might just change it. Pitch is getting a little tight, ain't they, boy? Well, they fit. Now well, watch it. You might bust the seams. I was figuring on a, on a quiet supper. Not tonight. Well, now. That's twice today I've been the wrong animal. You're having a run of luck, boy. The thing is, can it last? Go on, lad. You're falling way behind. These girls will have some fun. Yes, yeah, sure. Come on. Abby, bring us another bottle. <laughs> My outfit's pulling out tomorrow. I know. Butler, he's a trail boss. He's going back to Texas. Is he? I'm figuring on hanging around for a while. The fellow in the crew says that wolf hides is worth maybe five dollars a piece. He says you can get maybe a hundred wolves from just one bait. Can you? That's what the fella says. Tom's going with me. Hunting wolves, I mean. That's nice. You just make yourself comfortable. I'll be right down.
Well, I guess we better get going. Mike? Oh, I'll ride out a ways with you. Fine. Take care of yourself, Lap. Thanks, Ram, for everything. Nothing to thank me for. Just remember, people get changed. By what? Men you meet, the way the cards fall, the chippy that rolled you, a friend you trusted, add them up. Nobody ends like he started out. The bunch is leaving, huh? Always when the bunch left me, I... I felt like a drink. Drink hearty, boy. Drink, boy. You ain't a bird. Yes, sir. -y. <laughs> that cures the miseries. When I was your age, it was mostly girls. Now I'm my age, it's mostly that it mostly ain't. You happen to know a gal in town by the name of Callie? Sure. Why? Is she anybody's in particular? Uh, I wouldn't say in particular, son. Where you from? Oregon. What was it like? What? Home. Don't play cards. Don't dance, and don't dream. I'll tell you, son, ain't what you do that spoils your sleep, but what you missed, take it from an old man. Hey. Now my nerves is all set, but I'll, I'll just catch me a little nap. See you, son. you run off like that last night? Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe. Well, when I was 12, 13 years old, my pop 
caught me with a girl out in the hay shed. We wasn't doing anything, just, just kissing maybe. But there stood Pa and doorway. And there's this buggy whip up on the wall. Well, I didn't mind for myself so much, but he kept whipping her too. She was crying and dodging around. And now every time there's a girl, any girl, I, I keep seeing Pa or something like him standing there in the doorway. Mine didn't whip me. He just sent me off far as he could. Why? He didn't come into the hay shed. being snowbound, windbound, and coalbound. You know what it'd be like. Quit dollar, yeah, poison and worse. I must have been out of my mind. I don't like it any better than you do. We got 25 buffalo skins worth maybe $2 a piece. And almost 100 wolf pelts worth $5 each. Money, huh? Well, you'd skin me if I'd fur on. It ain't just the money I want. Not even a ranch. I want my name to mean something. I heard about a fellow named Grenville Stewart. He started with nothing. Now he's got a big spread over the flat wheel of country. He's got respect, political influence, everything. If he can do it, why can't I? Wolf for the rancher, plow board a president. Huh? Why not? Because I ain't seen a man yet that didn't step up by stepping down on somebody else. I liked you more when you stunk a cow, not wolf. The stink will go, but the money's gonna stay. Yeah, well, I won't. I had a belly full. I'm cutting out. I'm going back to Fort Brock. You coming with me? Not until I got every hide I can get. No. At cabin. Much smoke, much drink. Much good things for empty belly. That good fast horse. <laughs> no! 
got to get you to Fort Brock. Yeah? That bullet's got to come out. What day is it? Monday, Tuesday. How much longer we got? Day or two at the most. Tom, we're skins. Hey, lad, now you just take these. I'm in these skins. I'll steal them. I had to leave them, Jerry. I couldn't pack you in the skins, too. Come on, now. Into rock so the wolves don't get me. You just shut up. You still go and live to die, Rich. Tom! Oh, Tom, whatever happened? This lad. He's outside. He's hurt. He's hurt real bad. Oh, yeah. Hey, somebody get a doctor. Here, help me with him, will you? Oh, Tom. Give me some whiskey, Happy. Oh, Tom. Get that fancy dress dirty. I don't care. I do. I bought it. Time for breakfast. I'll finish up downstairs. All right, Happy. Oh, I think you're getting back some weight. I swear I never saw a man that thin. You got it soft. Breakfast in bed. Trade like that, what'd that cost in the restaurant? Oh, depends what kind of restaurant it is. Callie, I'm leaving here today. You can't. Why not? Tom's got a job. You want me to sponge off you forever? But the doctor said you need I don't care what the doctor way. said. There's only one kind of a man that lives off a woman. Why should you waste your time and money on me? It's not charity, lad. I like taking care of you. I never felt this way about anybody before. Aren't I good enough for you? It's not you, Callie. It's me. I'm no closer to getting that ranch now than I ever was. There's a whole winter gone by and I ain't got nothing to show for it. Not a dime. You got me. Excuse me, who, who do I see about making a loan? Hang in there. Then you'll be at the meeting, Marsh. Excuse me. Don't stand in the door, boy. Come in. My name is Evans. Lad Evans. I know. Shake hands with Brother Vaughn. Oh, yeah. Mr. Evans is quite a jockey. Oh. The Lord loves a good rider. Well, I ain't given much of a chance lately to love me. That don't matter, brother. He makes his own chances. See you tonight. I know. Mr. Conrad, uh, uh, what I came to see you about... Sit down. Rest that hat. What can I do for you, Evans? Well, I don't have a job right now, and, and I'm out of money, and a bank loans money, doesn't it? That's right. A bank loans money. There's also work for anybody who's out of it. 
Well, uh, I'm not after a job, Mr. Conrad. What are you after? Ranching. Sheep or cattle? Cattle. Hmm. They call sheep the golden hoof. I like cattle. Have you got a ranch in mind? Yep, along the Tansy River. It's good high grass, and high grass is fat grass. Can I see you for a moment, Uncle? Excuse me, I... Not just now, honey. In a few minutes. I'll wait outside. Well, I don't want to keep you from anything important. It's all right. She's my niece. You know, Evans, a bank isn't a racetrack. We can't afford to back gamblers. Well, why not? You gamble all the time, don't you? On weather and grass and, and the price of cattle? I'm asking for a loan as a start and something solid, as a stake. I'm sorry, Evans. It's too much of a risk. You get yourself some security, piece of land, deed, something to put up. Then we'll talk about a loan. Meanwhile, I will be very glad to back any horse you race. Thanks. For nothing. Is my uncle free now? Free? There ain't nothing free in this bank. Lad? Can I get you a cup of coffee? No. What's the matter? Nothing's the matter. I've been drinking. I went to the bank to ask for a loan for a stake on a ranch. They don't loan you money at a bank unless you got money. So I've been drinking. The last time I counted, there was more than $2,000 there. Buy the ranch you want, lad. But, Callie, that's your savings. I'm investing it. Oh, no, I, I can't. Will you pay it back? But what if I go broke like my old man? Not you, lad. I'm just doing it to keep you with me. No childhood dream, no joy that you knew compares to knowing that you have the place of your own. Well, there it is, Mr. Conrad. It's good fat grass, just like I said. And I'm going to put it all under fence. Fence? Why, there'll be free grazing land in Montana longer than you'll ever live. That's what they said in Eastern Oregon a while back. No, people say that cattle do fine here. They say that natural pasture is enough, even in the winter, but it isn't. Because cows get poor in the winter. And too many of them die off, and the calves are born spindly. And the beef weighs less. And someday, who knows, we may even have a coal stretch here like you never saw. And then come springtime, all them cows will be dead that you lent money off. Go on. Well, my idea is I'm going to grow hay here. And I'll store it up in my barn during the summer months. And come winter, I'll hand feed it to my cattle. Fences, hay and homestead. In Montana? That's what I see coming. $2,000 won't buy many cows. Be enough to get me started, and that's all I need. The bank will match whatever you've paid for the land. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Straight business proposition. Interest, 1% a month. That rate makes figuring easy. Well, you're never going to regret this, Mr. Conrad. Oh, one point. I make it as an older man. You can take it or leave it. Too many young fellows start out ambitious. Somewhere they leave that ambition in a saloon. Or a fancy boudoir.
Evans is a good name back home. I'm out to make it mean something here. Fine. Did you get what you wanted this time, Mr. Evans? <laughs> yes, Miss Joyce. <laughs> For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle upon a thousand hills. Why not? Come into the bank. We'll draw up the papers. Hi. <laughs> We're business, boy. Meaning what? The loan, you muttonhead. We got the money for the cows. Woo! Well, I'll be. Yeah, but lad, I got nothing to put in the pot. The chips is all yours. Eh, hey, we're partners, ain't we? What do I have to do? Knock that into your thick skull? Woo! You and me is running this ranch together. <laughs> and maybe we have Whitey and Carmichael working with us, too. They want jobs. <laughs> Ain't nobody ever wanted me for a partner before. <laughs> well, like I said, you'd live to die rich, didn't I? Didn't I? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. For a burial? Uh, dinner. In town? I ain't gonna eat it out in the brush. Where's Tom? He rode in last night to see Jen. Whiskey's gone. No, I'll get you a bottle. Waddy, I think you better take a look at the cows in the south pasture. They might drift into the fence. You know, it's a wonder to me a cow ever lived till you got here. A lot of them didn't. Dress fancy. Hello, Yehu. Party somewhere? At the hotel. I'm invited to dinner by the Conrads. I hear the winter busted nearly everybody but you, Evan. Did it? Half my herd's gone, and I got horses missing. Stolen? Looks like it. If you're thinking of selling what's left of your herd, I'm looking for some more head. Ain't that pressing your luck, Evan? It's either me or the auctioneer. Besides, you said once my luck wouldn't last. Maybe we both ain't waited long enough to tell. See me after Roundup. I might listen to your price. Hello, Mrs. Strain. Oh, hello, Mr. Evans. I got some mail for you. Good. There you are. Thank you. A bottle of whiskey? Cash. <laughs> Your credit's good. Not for whiskey. Howdy, lad. 
Mr. Strain. Oh, Tom. Tom. Can I have a couple of scoops of flour? You betcha. Taking up bacon, Tom? Yeah, <laughs> none me. Kelly. Yes, you're baking your cake. Oh, that, uh, what time I tell Kelly you'll be over? Night, after supper. Here you are, two bits. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that is something else I gotta tell you. Yo? Yeah? Will you see? We want you should stand up with us. What? Well, you and Kelly, that is. Stand up? Yeah. Well, Jim and me, we're going to get hitched. You to her? Well, she says I'm good enough. Tom. We're going to make it proper. Old brother Vaughn's in town. We're going to have him tie the knot. Oh, I know I ain't got nothing except our partnership. And, and Jen, well, she ain't never saved a dime, but... Well, I figure between us, well, we got each other. And that's a pretty good hand to draw to. And what she's been? Well, I ain't so pure myself. Neither are you, neither is nobody. Now, I asked you a question, lad. You gonna stand up with us? We'd like it the best in the world. Tom, she's a tramp. Why for not, she'll always be known as that. Well, I... <sighs> Quiet, say to her. A hunk of land, a bank is alone, nobody's respectable enough for you, huh? Well, whose money got you started? A tramp! Oh, you gutless. You gutless. Come on. And you know what you can do with a partnership. Blessed Lord, make us truly thankful for these thy bounties. Amen. Henry Red. Ha ha, chicken and dumplings. Your favorite? Never get tired of chicken and dumplings, much. Mm -hmm. Just the chicken for me, Uncle. Very well. A penny for your thoughts. Yeah. Two bit in this country. <laughs> Two bits? A quarter. <laughs> oh. Are your thoughts worth a whole quarter? Pa, I was just thinking how my pa used to say grace. At whom? Yeah. Holding the service tonight, Brother Evans. New faces delight the Lord. Well, uh, I was reared in the church. Praise be. And you see that he don't backslide, sister. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could talk to a jury the way Brother Vaughan hammers at us sinners. Three things a town needs. A good preacher, a good lawyer, and a good school. We've got two. In order to have a good school, you have to have a board. I'd like to see you serve on that school board, lad. Me? You, my son. Well, uh, well, I'm not much educated. Much is a relative word. Anybody smart enough to triple his herd as quick as you have, Evans, is educated enough. Think it over. But I'll tell you one thing. A man starts in with property. Then if he's the right man, he serves on the school board. And after that, who knows? Well, I've known some men to go on to the state legislature. And even further. Matt? Gonna ask a gentleman in for a drink? The house is fresh out of liquor. If it's Evans you're expecting, don't. Why? Well, they serve mighty long dinners over at the Conrad's. Besides, she's a pretty girl at Miss Joyce. Tidy, educated, and the college and all that. 
Looks like I'm the only one with a real sweet tooth tonight. You know how it is. When a man ain't had something sweet for a long time, he gets to craving it. Particular with your kisses? I am tonight. I was thinking of buying some more cows. Oh. After this winter, a lot of men will have to sell. They can. It doesn't seem fair. I don't make the weather, Joyce. Don't hold it against me for being prepared. Oh, lad, I don't hold anything against you. Maybe I got a right to sit pretty. You don't sit long enough to be pretty. So I'm ugly. As a mud fence. I happen to like mud fences. Well, here we are. Home. Good night, lad. When am I going to see you again? Mm -hmm. It depends. On what? Oh, on your reputation. You know, I don't know very much about you. What would you like to know? Oh, well, for instance, um... Do you gamble at cards? All the time. And use the Lord's name in vain? Often. And break the Sabbath? Cows don't know when it's Sunday. <laughs> well, when you're on the school board, you'll have to educate your cows. <laughs> it was a lovely evening, lad. I'll be home. Whenever you call. I'm so happy you cry. I'm sorry I'm late. I, I was invited to dinner by Mr. Conrad. Who was there? Conrad and his niece and Link Gorham, the lawyer, and Brother Vaughn. You liked that, didn't you? I guess so. Yeah. Yes, I did. But there are a lot of things I don't like, Callie. Like what? Like... the way things are, the, the way I am. For coming here? 
I wanted to see you or I wouldn't have come. But to come here from dinner with all those important people. Mr. Conrad thinks I ought to run for office someday. He thinks I ought to start with the school board, maybe. Are you going to? I told him I'd think about it. He'll be a good one. I don't know about that. But I... I wanted to tell you. You're one that's on the way up, lad. I owe my start to you. But you gotta finish by yourself. That's what you're trying to tell me, isn't it, lad? If I could only do something for you. Oh, there's nothing you can do for me. What you want is a starched wife and a starched home and a starched reputation, and I'm spoiling your chances of getting it. Well, you just keep on being nice to bankers and their nieces, and you'll get what you want. Stop it, Cal. Stop what? There's nothing to stop. Everything goes on till it ends, that's all. Maybe you're right. Maybe that is what I want. I never lied to you, Callie. But I'll always be grateful. Men and their gratitude. Well, don't you worry about me. You just keep climbing and you'll get there. The only place you and I ever got was right don't, there. Don't, Callie. What's the matter? That bother you? You think your father's going to come in that door with a buggy whip? Stop it. And don't you dare feel sorry for me. You think I'd marry you? I wouldn't even marry you if you asked me. You think I'd give up all this to scrub and clean for you on some filthy ranch? All right. Not I'll, on your life. All right, I'll go. I'll go. You better go. There's nothing more for you to hang around here for. Me, I'm unstarched. She's your type, that little hymn singer. <laughs> hear them right now. Ladies, gentlemen, and horse thieves. I give you our next senator, Albert Gallatin Evans. Now, let's go. No. I want to hear what the senator has to say. I got a few questions to ask him myself. Now? No, later tonight. I want to find out his political views about horse stealing. I'm going to give him a real chance to serve this community. I got something we could talk to you about. Come in. Sit down. Buy some bed. Boys, want some coffee? Uh, no thanks, lad. Well, it happened again last night. 
Stallion's gone. They got in the jail's corral, too. You missing any? I'll watch my stock close. Sure. Any idea who's doing the wrestling? We know one thing. They're cabin up north in the brakes. We're gonna jump them. When? Dawn. That's why we're here. We're looking for you to come along. Up there in the brakes, huh? What makes you so sure they're guilty? There are no innocent men in the brakes. I don't like it, Frank. Why? You'll be gone for everything in sight. That stick in your craw? A little. What do you want, Evans? A vote from the Bible class? Easy, you. Glad knows all we're doing is protecting our property. That's his side of the fence, too. He ain't big enough yet to go it alone. It's our horses now. Tomorrow it'll be yours. All I'm saying is wait. For what? Evidence. And then let Sheriff Slade handle it. Slade says the brakes are over the line, out of his jurisdiction. They wait for the sheriff over at Gold Creek. They shot him up. Vigilante is just a polite name for murderer, Jehu. You know that? Jehu, me, other ranchers, we swing a lot of boats in this territory. Now, wait a minute. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll make you a promise. We ride out to the brakes. No shooting unless they shoot first. And when we're sure, We'll bring him in for Slade to throw into the lockup. Fair enough? Who are you speaking for? Rice Walker, McLean, the Swede, all of us that's going. All right, I'm in. I know you'd see it our way, Evans. We're only doing what a man's got to do to protect his own. Right over to my place before dawn. trouble over Chenault's place. I have to ride over there before dawn. You're pretty any hour of the day. Do you know that? Oh, lad. Oh, you're so thin. You work too hard. You haven't an ounce of flesh on your bones. Work for the night is coming. Rest comes sure. So. Not that kind. What about this kind? Are you thinking? I was just thinking about something my pa used to read from the Bible. A virtuous woman is a crown to her husband. part of the Bible, is that from? From Proverbs. Lad, are you asleep? on foot. Right closer and a horse will win. How does the cabin set? Facing us, south. One door in front and no place else for him to make a break. Leave Gunderson with the horses. But I shoot good. Stay with the horses. That's a spot for you to angle off. Be careful, lad.
Now, come on out of there. No, 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 Safe's hanging. Now, Matt, look inside. Give me that rope. Make it good, Yeho. I don't want to hang on a wrong nut. Tie his hands. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You gave a promise, Frank. No hanging. We're taking him to the sheriff if he's guilty. If. Let's hear what he's got to say. We know he's guilty. Shut up! Tom, what about them horses in the corral? Well, I got four legs, ain't they, Senator? They're stolen. We're giving you a chance, Ping. Talk up if you're innocent. Innocent? Well, that depends on who the jury is. Now, I'll tell you a couple of things I ain't guilty of. I ain't prayed on Sunday, bought cows cheap on Monday. I ain't broke my word. I ain't climbed up high on somebody else's back or thought of myself better than another man. I ain't double-crossed a friend. I made a little tin guard out of money. Sure, I'm innocent. I'm as innocent as you. Why ain't you boys innocent? Like he says, it's Bigsby shot through the face. And the cabin's full of branding irons. Are you satisfied now? Yeah. Throw this rope over that branch. Bring up a horse. Guilty or not, you ain't hanging him, you. The agreement was we take him in for the sheriff and he stands trial, and that's the way it's going to be. You taking him in, Senator? That's right. Rice. Yeah. Cover Evans. You never intended to take him in, did you, Yehu? We're cleaning out these hills once and for all. You coming along guarantees you won't open your mouth to the law. Move. that gun. Now, lad, he told us himself them Bronx are stolen. He's entitled to a trial. That's what the law says. Let's 
sure you're going to be all right? Yeah. There ain't no need to go blaming yourself. <laughs> no, it's just like Tom said. Plowboy to rancher and rancher to president. Maybe I'll make it yet. <laughs> said you'd ridden off into the hills. Frank's wife said she thought you'd gone hunting. That's right, we... We went hunting. When I came back, there was a note for you under the door. to know. Well, the note says she needs you. Isn't that what it says? Yeah. Well, is she accustomed to sending you notes when she's in trouble? She has a right to. The right? Were you in love with her? What's past is past. Oh, of course. When did you meet her? First came to Fort Brock. Not at a church social, I imagine. No, not at a church social. Oh, you were lonesome. A lonesome cowboy, and she was kind to you. More than that. More? Five years ago, she lent me the money she had saved up to get this ranch started. I see. And I'm indebted to her, too. Aren't I? For everything. Laugh. If you go into town and see her, I won't be here when you get back. Not Joyce. I love you. What's past is past. But I've been taking a good long look at myself today, and I don't like what I've seen. I don't like what I've become. That's why I have to go into town. You still love her. You know I don't. But I owe Callie something. I owe her the right to call on me when she needs help. Oh, how can I believe you? Why should you want to see her now if you haven't been seeing her? How do I know there haven't been other notes on other occasions? You just have to believe me. Come in, Mr. Ladd. I've been waiting. Where is she? Upstairs. She didn't write that note, Mr. Ladd. I wrote it. You? She ain't got nobody else but you to tend to, Mr. Ladd. She's got Yehu. I'm out of her life now. See, Yehu. He's just trash. He come here early this afternoon and he was feeling ugly. Him and Miss Kelly was in the parlor here drinking. She's been drinking bad, Miss Kelly. It was tough for nobody. I was outside on the back steps, just getting the lair, when I heard Mr. Jehu kissing. So I run in, and he's beating her. She's up there with the door closed, and she won't come down. She ain't made a sound up there. Ain't nothing to blame anybody for. Just maybe it would be better if she left this town, because it had brought her nothing but bad luck. I want to talk to you. You didn't have to come all the way down here to get my vote. Don't worry, I'll vote for you come election day. Happy said that Yehu hit you. 
Sure he did. Why not? Now he opened the door. He said they they hung Tom Ping. Did they? Yes. Were you there? Yes. And I said Yeah, who was a liar. Callie? He didn't like being called a liar. Callie, open the door! Gone. To find Yehu. Don't. You don't owe me anything. You paid off the loan. Lat, what happens to me doesn't matter. After Yehu, it'll be some other man. I'm not worth risking anything for. Go home where you belong. You know, Callie, I. I can't go home yet. some more rain? Maybe. Tell me up in hell, another got the streets all paved. Is that right? That's what they say. Got an Opry house, too. Gaslight. Sure gonna be a different life for you and the missus. You'll be up there with the high and the mighty. <laughs> I'll never forget the first time you rode into Fort Brock. You and that fellow from Texas. <laughs> what was his name? Uh... Butler. Yeah, <laughs> Butler, yeah. <laughs> and all you owned was a horse. That's right. Well, a fella has to make up his mind what he wants and just go right out and get it. That's all that counts. Getting there. That's what folks in this town admire you for, Lat. You got there. So I'm a success. Is that it, George? That's it. People don't go around admiring failures. There's too many of them. And don't you worry none about my vote. This goes casting in the ballot box. Night, Lat. Good night, George. Where are you going? In there? I have something to settle with Yehu. Don't be a fool. Joyce is at my place with a boy. Come home with me. That woman isn't worth whatever you're thinking of doing. Isn't she? No woman of her kind is. It's hopeless to think you can do anything for her. You'll only be ruining your own life. If she's in trouble, give her some money. Money? <laughs> that fixes everything, doesn't it? You're a man with a future. But if you go in there, your political chances are finished. All you'll accomplish is your own destruction. Maybe. For the last time, lad, come home with me. No. Alex, is it looking for a sucker. Take a hand. What's the game? Stud. Give me in. Pour the sentence of a drink, sweet. Not out of that bottle. Something wrong with my whiskey, Senator? I don't drink out of the same bottle with a man who beats up women. King High. Open for five. I'll call. Senator. 
I mean... Is that your own money, Senator? Or a tramp's dowry? Heal me up. Me too. Sweet. Pour the Senator a drink. Out of that bottle. I'm trying to understand. I guess I need educating, like your cows. Only with me, it might take a little longer. I told Link Gorham I'm going to testify at Callie's trial. It's not going to be pleasant. Will it help her? Link thinks it will. Will it be the truth? Yes. Then you testify.
You're cold. Come in the house.